want to give some shout outs to some very respectable people and some fellow machine freaks that went ahead and made this 3D Machines production possible by going to machinemerch.com. Those people include Joshua D, Jacob C, Misty S, Jonathan M, Donovan W, Austin S, you have an amazing last name. That's awesome. Connor H and Martha F. I also want to give some shout outs to the people that pre-ordered the crushed t-shirts and, and long sleeve shirts like this. Even me, myself, I haven't got one yet. So as soon as you guys get yours, I'll be getting mine and then we'll be rocking all this together. Brian V, you also have a cool name. Robert T and Shane N. Thank you guys very much. What's up lady machines and gentle machines? I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I have Jason and Jake following me in their vehicles. We went out today. We went to try to get a camper. You guys saw me looking at those campers before. We went to look at them and try to get one today. Unfortunately, they gave that camper away. Yeah, I lost Jake at the light. I guess we'll, we'll talk a little bit while we're waiting for Jake. We came so prepared, you guys. We brought walkie-talkies, dealer plates. We had everything all situated ready to take this, this trailer. Look at this. This is communication is a wonderful wonderful thing that's what put these that's what put us humans before all the animals our, our minds and our communication anyways we're gonna head back to the warehouse I think and go check out crush go from there start the day the day has been unsuccessful so far but hopefully it becomes more successful <laughs> I told you we'd get back to the warehouse and take a step forward here. We got a new shelf. Jason brought it out. We got the welder under there, the snow bike's halfway coming out. We got a first shelf and we got a second shelf. So now when we're working on crush, we can like put crush parts up here and then have the table cleared out instead of having a bunch of junk on it like there is right now. I haven't touched the rock rails yet today. We started the day at the trailer park trying to get a free trailer. I mean, can you blame me? But now Jason wants to go on the first drive with Crush, so that's what we're going to get ready to do. we got to put these uh, pieces of plastic on, put his seat back in, put a portion of my seat back in, and then take this thing for a ride. Jake warned Jason. Jason, what did Jake say about this thing? Was it quick? Yeah, it says it's pretty quick. Yeah, it's sketchy. Quick. It's not sketchy. I mean, it might be a little sketchy, but we How do you do I am eventually going to wrap crush. I also am going to paint a lot of the stuff on here, such as the shocks in my rock rails or tree bars or whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do the shocks, the rock rails, and then the rear shocks all the same color. I'm thinking blue. Jason's thinking like a gray color. I'm thinking like this blue. New tires should be on their way. I ordered rear CV axles too because we have that crunch in the back right now. Got brand new ones on the front. We also are gonna do a, we're gonna do a lot of stuff. We're like we're gonna relocate the radiator in the back. We're gonna put the five point harnesses on. We're gonna put some nets on here. Uh, but for right now, we're just worried about getting a seat installed so Jason can go for his first rip. Oh, 
pissed off. I can't go that way, I can't go that way. I literally can't go anywhere. And it, and it ain't going fast to the field right now. It's just that snow's crappy. Next victim! Seth, if we're gonna flip, keep your hands out and miss it all time. Thank you for being my victims. We had some fun. I did the first round. Jason's doing the second round. We're cleaning crush. We got to clean crush. We got to respect crush. He respects us, so we got to respect him. I don't know. I'm, I'm really digging the blue. I'm really digging the blue. I think it would look good with blue shocks and blue tree bars. We're all getting warm, including Crush. He's young thawing. He is definitely digging it. Definitely digging it. Jason's working on something. We'll get to that in a second. We rinsed off a lot of the snow and a lot of the dirt. And uh, you know how those skid plates were on there? There's one of them. I was able to actually get in there with a pressure washer and do a little bit of work so that uh, it's a little bit lighter. We did quite a bit of weight reduction. We're gonna take off the shocks and some other miscellaneous things. That CVX was knocking pretty good today. That, that new one will sound way, way better. On this section of fan mail, we have this bench grinder that was given to us by Jason M. This guy brought a brand new bench grinder. All right, well, first of all, why, why did you bring a bench grinder here? You just, he just shows up with a bench grinder. He's like, hey, you need this. Yeah, because uh, you need one for he's, he's rewiring it because we don't want wires sticking out anywhere. So we literally took that wire off, drilled a hole back here so you virtually will never see a wire. Uh, we're cutting you off. That's enough. Kyle L., the person that donated the drill press to the 3D Machines cause, also sent something froggy fresh in the mail. I saw you got in the drill press, so it encloses the tag you suggested for it. Laser etched on a piece of brass with a clear coat over it to keep it from tarnishing. Hope you like it. Oh, we like it. By the time you get this, I should have a video up on its creation on my channel at Elation Productions. Then he goes on to say, how about a shout out to my Instagram page, Elation Innovations. It's right there. I would really appreciate it. No problem, Kyle. We can do that for you. Thank you very much for the drill press as well. We will install this right now. Do you think we can do that wiring thing over here too? Or actually, yeah, that might not even work because that wire comes way out up there. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that one. Oh man, I thought we were stepping up in the world. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, 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 what are, what, are you, what are we doing here? All the shacks out front and rear we've also discovered that i need new ball joints i need a few new bushings in the front end we actually had to take the muffler off and the headers to get the rear shacks out so yeah there's no muffler here 
It's sitting right there. This thing basically looks really, really bare, and it's sitting extremely low considering what it usually sits at. Here are all four shocks. I need a spanner wrench so I can get these springs right off of here. I don't have any of that stuff. So Yamaha, if you're watching this, go ahead and send 3D Machine some stuff. PO Box 122. It's in the description. I really appreciate it. Jason, tell Yamaha that we would really appreciate that. We would.